Now there's this gaming company that I really like because it's called Troll Lord Games. Troll Lord, I see. And they're saying that uh, a quick note to remind everyone that Troll Lord Games has a games only philosophy. We leave the discussion in which society enjoys to engage to others. They have no place here. This is a place to belly up to the table with our friends and enjoy games. And you have this uh, teenager. I don't know what's with Twitter and teenagers. They always have the bad takes. You know, pronouns in the bio, of course. I don't know how many times we're going to have to say this, uh, but games do not exist in a vacuum. And neither do you. It is impossible to keep society and politics out of your games. And by not taking sides, you are effectively taking the side of the oppressor. Yeah, but you know what? The oppressor seems to have money. The oppressor seems to have cash. If you take the side of the loser, you end up going broke, like we've seen with many cops. No one wants to buy your shit. Man, it's interesting. You know, a society that has a lot of oppressors seems to be a good place to live. A society with few oppressors, that's a bad place to live. Like, think about this way. During the feudal times, the monarchy, I think there were like 5% aristocrats oppressing 95% of the rest of the population. Think about a prison. How many guards are in a prison? Probably less than 1%, but they're the oppressors and they're oppressing 99%. A communist country, a beautiful social utopia, probably 2 or 3% are inner party members. Right? So when you have a society that's like, I don't know, like 60% uh, oppressing the other 40%, I would choose that society. Name me a society without oppressors, though. Like, I, I would love it. And, and when I say oppressors, I mean from the perspective of the enlightened uh, teenage Twitter blue check marks, you know? Uh, like, like, seriously, is there a society where no one gets oppressed? So if oppression is part of the human element, like, if humans are just designed to oppress each other when they gather in large numbers. If you have a society where the oppressors are an actual majority, that's a better society than when you only have like 1% oppressors, oppressing everyone else. But anyway, that's a philosophical talking point. The talking point that we should address is the politics, right? Like everything is political, as if you would uh, put the presidential debates in uh, the football stadium, right? Like, where, where should we have the next presidential debate? In League of Legends! It's complete ma This is fascism. Like, literally, everything is within the state. Nothing is outside the state. That's literally what it means. Like, for fascists, you're either with them or against them. There is no liberty. Like, you don't have many sides of the same story. Even Hitler said that, right? Like, he... And by the way, Hitler is not a fascist. He's a Nazi. Different political ideologies. I know. Very, very difficult for Twitter people to understand. But... He basically said that in order to manipulate the masses, you need to simplify every single problem with, a, with us or against us. And also, don't confuse the people with many problems, right? It's just one major problem at a time. Who's responsible? These people. If you're not with us, you're with these people. Well, like that, that's how it works. Uh, now, what people are saying about video games is that they are sick and tired of the same American politics being stuffed down their throats. Right, like video games can have politics, no one is saying that they can't, but usually good art is up to the interpretation of the viewer, right? So for example, when you play Bioshock, maybe you can sympathize with Andrew Ryan, right? Maybe you can sympathize with his ideology, maybe you, you, you don't sympathize with that. It's up to the viewer basically, right, and the, to the player. But when you watch Star Wars, you're flat out told, no, capitalism evil, look at this planet, they're, they're capitalists, they, they sell weapons to both sides, and uh, they use child labor even though robots exist, right? Like, that, that's why people are fed up, especially when your politics, again, don't make sense within the universe. So again, with Star Wars, right, like, why would they have child labor in a universe where there are robots? Makes absolutely no sense, right? It's just like, oh, well, the director wanted them to be evil. So they, they had to add that element within. And then there's like pure American politics that don't speak to anyone else. Like, for example, the last um, Arkham Knights game, you have the police being sadistic. Like, I'm sorry, I'm from Romania. The police here isn't sadistic. Like, I don't give a shit about your American trauma. Like, I can't relate with those types of politics. Right? Like, if you want to add politics in your video game, that it either needs to be accurate with the theme, 
Like, you have a medieval game, and then you add medieval politics in it, so that the game has immersion. Or you need to add something that people can relate with. I can't relate with the police being sadistic. I'm sorry, I'm from Romania. You want to sell your game here? Well, then make it more inclusive. Because, like, if, if you... And not to mention, you know, if you keep adding that shit, like, like for example, um, you're adding a woman with a bionic arm in a World War II game. Who's going to relate with that? Who, who are you targeting with that? Who, who's your marketing demographic when you put that shit on the box? Right? Like, do women play Battlefield? Like, I play Battlefield. How many times do you hear a female voice in the audio? I'm not saying they don't exist. But, like, know your fucking demographic. You know, it's not old people either. Like, how many old men do you hear when you play Battlefield? How many five-year-olds do you hear when you play Battlefield? Right? So, like, know your demographic and cater to them. What do they want? Well, th for example... In a World War II game, they wanted a little bit of immersion, right? You don't have, like, the soldiers running with dildos on their heads. It's World War II, right? Like, they need to be dressed and to appear similar to how World War II soldiers appeared and dressed like. It's war. It should be an emotional story, right? You shouldn't glorify it. You shouldn't, like, oh, my God, it's so fucking awesome. Look at this chick. She's got a shovel because, like, we saw Walking Dead and she's like Negan. She's like Negan, she's got a baseball bat, not a shovel, sorry. She's got a baseball bat like Negan from The Walking Dead. Isn't that cool, Pog face? No, it's not fucking cool. Alright, this is what people are talking about when they're saying you should remove the politics from your fucking video games. Just because, like, the current thing is Walking Dead Negan with a baseball bat doesn't mean you should add it in, in a World War II-like game. Where now, like, because Walking Dead is not as popular now, right, and we're not that far into the future. I think it's been like four or five years since that game released. No one understands why that chica with a bionic arm has a baseball bat in World War II. Right? Like, like well, well, okay, so like, what is popular now? Oh, now we have dubstep, which is popular. Oh, let's put dubstep into our uh, Shogun game. Right? We got, we got like a game with Shogun and they're, they're like fighting to get the, the uh, Oda clan, you know, they're going in and like put some dubstep in it because that's the popular music now. In five to six years, no one is going to get the reference, right? So, like, this is, like, like, the current thing is fucking cancerous. And not to mention, like, the current thing constantly changes, right? Like, what, what was acceptable, J.K. Rowling said 11 years ago was acceptable, now it's not. So, no, like, this is what people are saying, like, you shouldn't uh, lean on the current thing. You shouldn't do politics. And not to mention, the oppressor has money, as I mentioned, right? And, and the oppressor... It's not really the oppressor. This is what just the left thinks, right? You, you got your consumer base. Half of them are probably Democrats. Half of them are probably right wing. Right? Why, why do you piss them? Why do you piss them off? You shouldn't piss off anyone. You shouldn't piss off the far left either, okay? Just make a game that everyone likes. There are games that everyone likes, by the way. Like, they do exist. And no, no one gets pissed off by them. StarCraft 2, for example. Right, like, StarCraft 2, okay, it has politics in it, whatever. No one gets upset. You can be a right-winger and you can enjoy StarCraft. You can be a left-leaning person and you can enjoy StarCraft. Right? Why can't you do that? But anyway, right. Uh, let me know what you guys think. And as usual, I will see you in the comment section. Take care.